Good. Welcome aboard. <laughs> right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> there we go. Okay. But anyway, the you start out with the Dodgers, which is probably the best thing in the whole boat. <laughs> These are all in storage. Okay. For the last 15 years. Storage on the boat or in no, a in a in a in house. A house yeah. Okay. I, but along with that, there is a fly or whatever you call it that goes in between those two things yeah and then there's these uh which are look like new and that looks like new when my wife washes it but anyway, we uh, pressure washed it a, a while back and we i think we oversprayed a little bit when we pressure washed it it needs you know paint or gel coat and uh and all that stuff it have two anchors which it didn't have before and uh and this was this was rotten, and I made a new base for that, but I didn't drill that out. I got I've got uh, a pipe for that if you decide to go through there. Okay. To, but I but it's not all chain. It's chain and and a rope on both of those. But it does have a, a swivel, and uh, but it does have a spinnaker pole. Okay. And this was actually my uh, kind of the safety lines for the kids when they get on oh okay i can hook them on and they can yeah, hook them on yeah, yeah go up and down but uh i do have just a little solar thing there for the to start battery yeah and uh Have you had to do anything to any of the stays or anything? Just clean the mold and mildew off. Okay. Even though it doesn't look like it now, replaced all of these and uh, anything I, that looks. I just replaced them on my boat. Oh, yeah. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People say, Lazy oh, jacks. they're they're pain. You know, I said, well, well the pain is when that's that the sail falls, sail falls into the water. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and this is I got this rope here, which is actually new, but it faded. Real oh, bad. Okay. Do you know if the boat was ever painted at one time? No, uh, it was, but I don't. I know the the um, hole was painted. Okay. But I don't know about the rest of it. Okay. Yeah. That just kind of looks like a paint job. Yeah. And this is downstairs. <laughs> kind of cluttered. I carry extra fuel because the way you tell where your fuel is, there's a, a little window in the cockpit there, okay, and you're you supposed the, you look down you're supposed it. to look down there, and I, I can't see what the level is, so I'm always <laughs> topping it up because I don't want to run out of fuel. <laughs> what kind of electronics you have on board? I saw you had the that's, radar. That's that's basically really it okay. there, except for just the handheld, the handheld and, and the a fish finder. finder. Okay. And you know, and a uh, GPS, ah, okay. like, uh, right. you know, just uh, so many people know what they want as far as, you know, and you can put $10,000 worth, worth of uh, equipment in and then somebody, oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Is this just a little storage area back there? Yeah, that's uh, what they call wet storage oh, there. Wet it's got storage. A, yeah, they've got a couple of things to hang oh, okay. up in there. All right. And then they have actually, uh, that flips up, it's kind of wasted space, so you can use that for, you know, okay. where you want to hide something. And then the stove, and of course that lifts up and slides, you know, just lift it up. Heave-ho. There we go. <laughs> and this is uh, where I store my root beer. Yeah. And... Uh, that's working okay? It, it works, yeah. Is it just refrigeration or is there a freezer? Well, there? it freezes inside, inside there, yeah. Okay. I put in storage in back and storage over there. It's a pretty big okay. little locker over to your left there. My daughter's six okay. foot tall, but she loves to cook and she loves this because everything's within reach, uh -huh. you know. Of course, she'll run anybody else out, but uh, <laughs> propane oh, okay. for the... You turn that on and, and you got yeah, mm -hmm. up. And, okay. and then this is for the batteries. And that's it. You have four batteries on here? Or? Three. Three, yeah. Okay. Just pressure water. Pressure water. 
and hot. We got a hot water heater there. And of course the blower, which is you're supposed to use before you start the engine. I don't understand that on a diesel, but you know. Is this your seawater pump? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got three tanks and they're like 50 gallons a piece or something okay. like that. A lot three, of water. Three fresh water tanks. Yeah, three fresh water tanks. And uh, one. Get the engine. Okay, get the engine. And you saw I redid the, had the transmission redone. Yeah. That was pilot error. This boat was up the river and kept getting stuff stole off of it. Oh. And one of the things that was stole off of it was a binnacle. binnacle? Oh, yeah. Well, then I said, well, I'll just, I had a compass, so I made up one. But the thing I made up, when you shift it in gear, wouldn't let it go quite in gear. Oh. So it varnished the plates. Yeah. So I had to take that out and have that redone. Why is it I always learn stuff the hard way? <laughs> Understatement. <laughs> a lot tighter than when I got there. Oh, well, yeah, then, you, a lot of then you might as well walk away from this boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I ask how old you were. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the good thing about the boat and the bad thing about the boat is that it, the motor's here, and so it doesn't take up a lot of room. It comes back here. I'll show you the, the, the V drive, v drive there. Yeah. It comes up here. But all the things that you want to get to, the belts and all that, you know, you have to get somebody like Tom that's agile <laughs> to do that stuff for me anyway. And will this, you really need to do work on it? Does this thing come out if you need it to? Uh, this comes all the way, all this comes off. All the, okay. All, all of this and this, out. yeah. Okay. And this opens way on up there. Down here is a, a humidifier. It's actually a Sears and Roebuck humidifier, and uh, but only if you're at the dock. Which, yeah, you know. one ten. And it and the same way with the uh, air conditioning okay. is located in this compartment. Right. Um, now does this uh, and, and, humidifier and drain into the bilge? Is that that I don't know because I haven't used it. But okay. See, that's why I thought maybe, uh, and I left it there so you would say, see the watermark? Yeah. That's where the water came up to. Okay. In here. I never did see it there, uh, but uh, uh, anyway, what I was going to show you was when, when the water's on, there's a switch right there for yeah. your sump down below. Oh, okay. That takes the water out of here and in there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Watch your finger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always worried about sticking my finger in where I haven't been there before. <laughs> you like to sail? Yes, I like to sail. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's for the uh, the head there. Yeah. The on and off for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does it have a holding tank for the head? Or uh, is it direct overboard? No, it that's goes two ways. Under the sink is a cutoff, and when you cut it off. It goes into the holding tank, which is up to the right there. Okay. And but when you open it, then it goes directly out. The thing it doesn't have is a Y valve, which it, it needs. You know, so you can right. select it there. Yeah. And one of the things the piercings known for is their holes. They got really good holes. They they have a really good hole. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Understand why people put put iron in there because even back then they knew iron rust and salt water. <laughs> really? I was going to say, what didn't they know? <laughs> yeah, that's just a thing I threw down there for oil. Yeah. Now this slides out, right? Yes. And it this comes, one slides it out It comes too? out. See the little rack right there? Oh, okay. It comes so it out, there, yeah. out there. So basically, I don't think you can get through here. I never pulled it all the way out. Right. But that one comes out too. So they're both. Okay. Open. That's why they reversible, have you know. Well, that's what I thought when I saw it there. I thought, oh, that's yeah, they, they were supposed to be reversible at, when they made them, but for some reason, 
I can never figure out how do you close this side and open the other side. Uh, you're right. Uh, but it, I do have screens for the whole thing. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, the snap picture. Yeah, I mean, okay. for both of these and for the that the oh right windbreaker. Yeah. But then I have three that are mesh, white mesh. Oh, just for screening. For, but that's not. That screening. Is it's more for blocking the sun, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, sunblock. Sunshine. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they're a little big for. I know they're a little big for no seeing. <laughs> Oh yeah, they even got the foam around them too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, you don't see that very often. Yeah, that's military screen. So yeah, that'll keep all the no sailing mm -hmm. around. Yeah. And you have a uh, 110 on the boat for shore power. You have any outlets around? Yeah, the the, the outlets are scattered here and there. Uh, okay, so there's, there's one there. And there's a there's a cord an here. cord around oh, some place. Oh, okay, there it is over there. Okay. You actually got oars for your dinghy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there is a, a motor for it. it it's it's a, got a long shaft on it, so mm -hmm. I find it's just easier to put the oars on it. But, <laughs> but it, it's one of those motors that will take the gas in it or you can hook up a five gallon okay. uh, thing to it. Either, yeah, either either either. How does this, uh, the boat stay? Like if, if you're out sailing, does it stay cool down here? With the open hatches, or because I know there's no side opening. Fairly good. I uh, just trying to think because I'm always up top. You yeah. know, my daughter's down cooking. So. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, everything's right here. That's right, right within yeah, arm's right length. Within I, I love it myself, but uh, the seat can hardly floor. Mm -hmm. Is actually screwed into a solid fiberglass sub base instead of a wooden structure. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. So that if you pulled up the wooden floor, it's all non skid. But the problem is, is your hatch covers won't fit anymore. Okay. You'd have to yeah. rebuild all your hatch covers. So to replace it, it's just a matter of unscrewing the floor, using it as templates for a new sheet, okay. and dropping it back in and screwing it in. The good thing on this boat is it's got the aluminum fuel tank. They, okay. origi they originally, most of them came with uh, black fuel tanks. So these are with the Westerbeek engines, of course. Harold? Huh? They are Westerbeek engines on this boat. Okay. But of course that's based on the Perkins 107-108. Okay. So everything that isn't Westerbeek specifically is Perkins. It's Perkins. Okay. So the water pump for this thing from Westerbeek is $600. The water pump from Perkins for this thing is $83 plus shipping, plus yada yada.